The Iberians are famed for their manufacturing of fine weapons. Indeed, many of their weapons would become famous for their strength and ingenuity. Although known for their swords, where the Iberians really specialised was in javelins. One javelin combined both the Iberians' ability to create high quality metal weapons and their specialties in the construction of javelins. This was known as the Soliferum. It is believed that the Soliferum first appeared in the regions of Aquitaine, just north of the Pyrenees in the first millennium BC. From these lands, the weapon gradually made its way down towards Iberia by migrating Celts. There, it was regularly adopted by the locals. Forged from a single piece of iron, the Soliferum measured around 1.5 to 2 meters in length and roughly 1 centimeter in diameter. The weapon was usually designed with a barbed tip, which allowed it to both pierce armor and shields. To make the weapon even more difficult to remove, the Iberians usually crafted two small spikes or hooks on the tip. These hooks slash spikes would get caught in whatever they landed in, thus making it both extremely difficult and painful to remove. This focus on trying to make the weapon as hard as possible to remove was helped by the fact that the Soliferum falls under the category of heavy javelin. This, funnily enough, is because the entire thing was made out of iron, making it way heavier than normal javelins. This added weight gave the weapon excellent armor piercing capability at close range, allowing it to even penetrate heavy shields. In battle, the Soliferum was used en masse in order to disorganize any enemy formations before engaging the foe with swords and axes. If an Iberian warrior died in battle, typically they were buried with the Soliferum as well as any other weapons they owned. The Soliferum was so effective in combat that it was not replaced when the Romans conquered Iberia. Instead, the weapon continued to be in use for many centuries, often being used by troops that were stationed in the area alongside the Faruca, an Iberian version of the Pelum. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.